the sort of thesis of the book is and thinking about descent and lineage and genealogy both in a macro level context like what does it mean to be part of a, a black for, for myself a black literary tradition and a black political tradition um, and then on a sort of more micro level what does it mean to uh, to like be my grandfather's grandson my father's son my mother's son my sister's brother um, and how do all of those things make me who I am so this poem is called counting descent my grandfather is a quarter century older than his right to vote and two decades younger than the president who signed the paper that made it so. He married my grandmother when they were four years younger than I am now and were twice as sure about each other as I've ever been about most things. They had six children separated by nine years, three cities, and one Mason-Dixon line. There were twice as many boys as girls but half as many bedrooms as children, which most days didn't matter because poor ain't poor unless you name it so and kids prefer playing to countings, there was never much time to wallow in anything but laughter. My mother was the third youngest, or the fourth oldest, depending on who you ask. She was born on a federal holiday, which my grandmother was thankful for, said the good Lord only got one day off when he built the world, so one day is all she needed, too. Mom says Pops was persistent, wouldn't give up when he asked if he could take her down the street to get some coffee, which back then cost $2 less than it does now. Now, my mom is trying to stop drinking coffee, but she still loves Pop. They've been married for 31 years and have three kids who are six years and 1,517 miles apart. My birth took 12 hours and 43 minutes, which is probably because my head is five times too big. <laughs> my mom said my head was too big because I needed enough room to read all the books in the library, which seemed like infinity, even though I didn't really know what infinity meant. But I heard my teacher say it once when she talked about the universe and books felt like the universe to me. I was pretty good at math, too until about fifth grade when they started putting numbers and letters together, which didn't make much sense. My brother is 70 months younger than me, but is taller and knows more about numbers, so it doesn't always feel like this is true. My sister is 24 years of loyal and eight years of best friend. I'm the oldest of three, but maybe the most naive. I still believe that we can build this world into something new, some place where I can live past 25 and it's not a cause for celebration because these days I celebrate every breath, trying to start counting them so I wouldn't take each one for granted. I wish I could give my breath to the boys who've had theirs taken, but I've stopped counting because it feels like there are too many boys and not enough breath to go around. 